Welcome to Zodiac Legion. Our mission takes us to a defiled cathedral that has been overrun by barbarian invaders. We have our six knights, who have teleported in through the shiny teleporter beacon, and who are about to form a combat formation around the first enemies that we see by the entrance. Our knights are of various specialties. Arnulf here has a two-handed sword, Eve is a bowman, um, while the other four are Leonhard with a halberd who is about to grant us the first kill of this mission, and Siegfried who is a zodiac champion attuned with Taurus. He is a very heavy hitter and his first strike as you can see results in a critical hit, letting Victor, the green grunt, finish off the other guard. Guillaume is a Sagittarius. He can... He is a glass cannon archer character who can unleash magic arrows for great damage. Since our knights have all moved, we can end the turn and let the enemy advance towards us. Our mission here in this cathedral is to find two ancient runestones and activate them which will let us cleanse this place of evil for good. Again we set up a formation, a defensive one this time, around these barricades at the front with the melee characters forming a buffer around the archers. The enemies so far don't offer a lot of resistance but they are sure to have reinforcements somewhere deeper within the structure and our one falls more of them come in one of them is an archer fortunately he misses which will allow us to proceed with the counter-attack Arnulf here uh, closes in on the orc and Siegfried comes in from behind doing a flanking maneuver that gives a attack bonus to both of our brave knights. And down he goes. Victor moves in closer. We continue advancing at a somewhat slow and steady pace because there's no sense overextending. We have no idea where the enemies may be hiding here, but. Uh, Let's just say that intelligence reports suggest that they might be having reinforcements teleporting in from the southern parts of the map. We are engaged by an Axeman, but a single, uh, a single enemy cannot beat our, our formation here. When our characters are close to each other, they provide support, defensive and offensive. So, um, with a single enemy basically rushing into our uh, into our shield wall, there is very little that can go wrong for us. And here we have Leonhard doing another flanking maneuver, all strictly textbook. The grunt goes down. Sagittarius can get a bit closer, unleash another arrow on the enemy archer, effectively killing him. Moving in. Moving in at a steady pace. Ending the turn since there is nothing else left for us to do while the enemies continue to flood us. Let us see. We should try to pick them off one by one without um, using too much of our resources for the moment. Since, uh, as you can see, but first, actually, um, Taurus here. Let's try flanking the champion, but nope. Taurus is uh, intercepted along the way uh, because there's a 
there's a strength check for your characters when they try to move past an enemy. Uh, if this is failed, your character or well, or the enemy, any character is intercepted, his movement is stopped and for the rest of the turn he is going to suffer um, combat penalties. But fortunately for us, when our advantage in numbers is so extreme, at least for the moment, a small setback like that means nothing. We continue clearing the enemies while more of them keep coming. The enemy archers are a bit of a nuisance here because they really like to target uh, Guillaume and since he is an archer himself and he doesn't have a lot of defense, that could end badly for him, but still. This one was tough, took a bit of beating to bring down. But we should at least get rid of the archer here if Eve can hit, and he can hit. Good. Uh, Victor was intercepted by the by the by the warlord just a moment ago, so he can't move anymore. And so we end the turn, and this archer continues being annoying. But fortunately, as some of you may know, orcs aren't very good at this accuracy thing, or aiming, as it would be. Nevertheless, we should probably pick up the pace a bit, because the enemies continue to move in at in large numbers, and there may be more in the fog of war. Still, our firepower is pretty formidable. Uh, Victor here will um, go a bit farther to challenge the archer, and this probably wasn't a good idea given those two enemies hiding behind the corner. Still, he is a brave knight, I'm sure he is going to hold out. Let us end the turn and see what happens. These archers really hate Guillaume. Oh dear. And, well, rest in peace, Guillaume, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Fortunately, he was just a, uh, well, let's, let's be honest, he was cannon fodder, so that was really to be expected. And his sacrifice bunched up these orcs here, letting Sagittarius drop a fireball to ensure their quick destruction. So you could say Victor's death was not in vain. In fact, it let us it allowed us to proceed much faster than we would have otherwise. Nevertheless. This is far from over. That archer surviving with one health is very annoying, but so it goes. Arnold can finish him off real quick and with no difficulty. And finally we have some peace here. Let's open the gate and see what happens. We see a red carpet on the other side, which means this is an important place. Um, Two armored enemies, one warlord, not very good, um, and an archer. A magic arrow should soften this guy up a bit, and in fact it does. Unfortunately, Guillaume has just run out of stamina, which um, is the resource used to power his magical abilities. So he is now back to the role of being a regular archer until he either rests or somehow regains his stamina through other means. 
But still, even despite being just a normal archer, being a Zodiac champion comes with its own benefits. So he is a formidable fighter still. We will have to breach here. Siegfried will finish off the Warlord, while Leonhard will use the superior reach of his halberd to strike the other enemy. A halberd can, uh, unlike other weapons, halberds and other pole arms can uh, target mm, enemies over two hexes. All the other melee categories work only on an adjacent basis. Oh, this this orc breaks through our defense and attacks Guillaume. Fortunately he survives, but he took quite a beat quite a quite a beating. Zekri comes into the rescue and given all the archers in this main hall, it is best to get Guillaume out of here. Because he is a he basically has a target painted on his back now. We split our forces to investigate uh, the side rooms here, explore the place around, because despite our main objective, there are still other things that we can find in the dungeon and which we should seek. Because they might just give us great benefits for when we return home from the mission. Unfortunately, split, splitting our forces like that leaves the two knights in the main hall at a bit of a disadvantage. Let's hope the three here can clear out the enemies uh, with no trouble. The archers uh, can soften up the warlord and Arnulf should be able to come in for the kill, but nope. He misses, and this is very bad because he is already injured, and standing in that doorway he is some in something of a peril, especially since he's a uh, he's armed with a two-handed sword and he is still just a recruit. Not particularly skilled. So this might turn badly, but let's observe the situation. Taurus is a beast. These guys can't uh, can't touch him basically as you can as you can see for yourself. And oh there goes Arnold. Accidents will happen. Now the question is if these two archers can beat back a warlord and a uh, and a warrior. This might actually be tricky, but Sagittarius pulls through once again. Killing the warlord like it, like it's nothing. Um, there's not much to do here except to keep bashing against the incoming horde. Leonhard and Sigrid should be fine. Oh yeah, the the orc tries to move in towards Leonhard, but he's uh, blocked by by Siegfried. Siegfried's armor deflects the arrows and Eve goes down. If Guillaume doesn't kill the Grunt he might just follow in his steps next turn but yeah Sagittarius he's a great guy. Siegfried gets a critical hit on the on the warrior and Leonhard's follow, follow, for Leonhard follows up with the kill. We are, we are in a fairly good situation here, actually, even if it doesn't look like it. Uh, Sagittarius reaches a healing font, which uh, replenishes his replenishes his health and stamina, getting him back into top shape, which is. Which might just be very important for what is still to come. Siegfried and Leonhard will be cleaning out the, the hole here from the arches. 
There's only one archer remaining there, fortunately. But we still have to be wary of getting outflanked from... Oh yes, here they come. The enemy gets uh, steady reinforcements from, uh, from somewhere else within the cathedral. So we should probably hurry. Sagittarius opens a chest, giving us star fragments that we can, uh, that we will later be uh, be able to use to craft artifacts. Of course, if we are victorious, which hopefully we will be. Still, Guillaume moves forward. It will be best to um, oh to reconnecting with the rest of our of our knights, uh, but given the opposition that he's just uh, walked into, he might have a hard time doing that. Siegfried will um, secure the main hall, while Leonhard will go help Guillaume. Mm. And. Okay, he survives. That is good. That is very good. Very conveniently, the orc places his, um, himself right next to Guillaume, letting him unleash a magic arrow with great effect. Leonhard follows up. Let's hope the, the orc grunt doesn't uh, kill Guillaume in the meantime, while Siegfried will Continue securing the main hall. Another time goes by. Oh, the the grunt decides to um, turn to Leonhard instead, which is somewhat fortunate because Guillaume might have not survived this. The two should be able to proceed somewhat safely now. Hopefully, reconnect with Siegfried, and we will see where we can go from there. Our enemy grunt goes down. While Siegfried gets uh, this self-writing book, which nets us research points that we can, uh, that we later will be able to use to study new spells, uh, discover new facilities for our citadel, and generally spend them on research. Back here, a magic arrow might be prudent to get rid of the, lan of the lancer. And this creates a something of an opening, um, with just the grunt there the two should be fine. Siegfried has also activated a uh, one of the two runestones that we need to um, activate for the mission to be a success. Afterwards he also gets another self-writing book. While Leonhardt and Guillaume keep trying to break their way through the opposition to reunite with their brother. They are somewhat successful at this. And most importantly, there are also two healing fonts here in the main hall, which uh, should be... Well, they will be great for Guillaume, since he is both uh, low on health and stamina. I thought Leonhardt was also hurt, but he is actually in full health service, so just one font will be enough. Let's keep moving, and we are actually kind of cornered here, so Siegfried will use a uh, fire strike to open, a, to open an alternative way out. Some kind of embalming house. Uh, for the cathedral, or at least the coffins would suggest so, but 
The coffins are of little importance, it's the chest that we'll be after. Leonhard will go after the chest, Guillaume will cover our retreat here, because being a... Uh, essentially being a sniper, he is in his... in his element here in this great hall, while Siegfried will go through this door and see what's on the other side. Naturally, it's an archer. Well, better an archer, who can't really do anything against Siegfried, than another warlord. Let them come. We are ready. Especially with Siegfried standing there in his face, the archer can't do anything, he can't even move away because he'll be intercepted. Leonard, go, Leonard goes uh, after the chest, picks up a few more star fragments. Um, while Guillaume will go back here a bit. And is he in range? Yes. He can quickly dispose of the archer, letting uh, Siegfried advance. The the gate, the other door leading out is uh, was locked, so he had to pull a lever to go through. This was this must have been a security checkpoint of some kind leading to the main hall. Um, with the with the archer standing guard and basically uh, letting only authorized personnel in. Fortunately, we got in through the other way, so we picked our, our authorization ourselves. Guillaume should be able to hold his own against all those incoming grunts. Especially with the uh, healing fonts, but just in case, we might put Leonhard here to help him. Oh, and here's the other runestone. Our mission is about to become a success with three dead, three standing. Not a bad result. And here we go. Thank you for watching. This was Zodiac Legion.